Did you know that there's a moon in our solar system larger than the planet Mercury? It's true. This celestial giant known as Ganymede orbits the mighty Jupiter and harbors secrets that have captivated scientists for centuries. With a diameter exceeding 5,200 kilometers, Ganymede isn't just Jupiter's largest moon. It's the biggest in our entire solar system. But size isn't its only claim to fame. What lies beneath Ganymede's icy shell, a possible ocean dwarfing all of Earth's oceans combined. Ganymede is more than just a moon. It's a world of its own, a captivating blend of ice and rock that has captivated astronomers for generations. Trapped in a gravitational dance with Jupiter and its other moons, Ganymede presents a constantly shifting tapestry of light and shadow but it's what lies beneath its surface that truly sets Ganymede apart. Scientists believe that a colossal ocean of salt water, perhaps holding more water than all the seas on Earth combined, swirls beneath its icy exterior. To truly grasp Ganymede's scale, we need to delve into some comparisons that put its size into perspective. Let's compare it to objects we know well, starting with our home planet, Earth. Our own planet, Earth, has a diameter of roughly 12,700 kilometers. This is a measurement that gives us a sense of the vastness of our world. Ganymede, at 5,268 kilometers, is just over 40% of Earth's size. This means that while Ganymede is smaller, it is still a colossal moon. In fact, Ganymede is bigger than Mercury, which measures 4,880 kilometers across. Mercury, being the smallest planet in our solar system, is still dwarfed by Ganymede. And when we compare Ganymede to our moon, the difference is even more striking. Our moon has a diameter of a mere 3,474 kilometers. Imagine gazing up at a night sky where the moon was replaced by something even larger than Mercury, a celestial body that dominates the sky. That's the awe-inspiring scale of Ganymede, its sheer size makes it one of the most fascinating objects in our solar system, a true giant among moons. What lies beneath Ganymede's icy shell is a subject of intense scientific interest. Based on observations and modeling, scientists believe Ganymede has a differentiated structure. At its heart likely lies a solid, iron-rich core, a testament to the moon's formation in the early solar system. Surrounding the core is a thick mantle, composed mostly of silicate rocks, but the most exciting possibility lies above the mantle, a vast, salty ocean. Evidence suggests this ocean could be sandwiched between layers of ice, creating a truly alien environment. Ganymede boasts a feature that sets it apart from all other moons in our solar system, its own intrinsic magnetic field. This unique characteristic makes Ganymede not just another moon, but a celestial body with its own magnetic personality. Unlike other moons that are influenced by the magnetic fields of their parent planets, Ganymede stands out with its own magnetic domain. This magnetic field is thought to be generated by the movement of electrically conductive material, most likely within its liquid metallic core. Scientists believe that the core is composed of iron and nickel, similar to Earth's core, and the motion of this liquid metal generates the magnetic field. This process is known as the dynamo effect, and it is a fascinating example of how celestial bodies can generate their own magnetic environments. This magnetic field creates auroras in Ganymede's polar regions, much like the northern and southern lights we see on Earth. These auroras are caused by the interaction of the magnetic field with charged particles from the Sun, creating beautiful light displays in the Moon's thin atmosphere. Observing these auroras can provide valuable insights into the magnetic properties and atmospheric composition of Ganymede. Ganymede's surface is a fascinating mix of ancient, heavily cratered terrain and younger, brighter regions. The older areas are covered with impact craters, evidence of a long history of collisions with other celestial bodies. In contrast, the younger regions are smoother and brighter, indicating more recent geological activity that has resurfaced these areas. 
These lighter areas are crisscrossed by grooves and ridges, suggesting a dynamic geological past. These features are believed to be the result of tectonic processes, where the moon's icy crust has been stretched and pulled apart, creating these distinctive patterns. Studying these geological features can help scientists understand the internal structure and thermal history of Ganymede, providing clues about its evolution and the processes that have shaped its surface over time. Ganymede's unique characteristics make it a prime target for scientific exploration. The possibility of a vast subsurface ocean immediately raises the question of life. Could Ganymede's ocean harbour microbial life or even more complex organisms? The presence of water along with internal heat generated by tidal forces from Jupiter makes Ganymede one of the most promising places in our solar system to search for extraterrestrial life. Beyond the search for life, studying Ganymede provides valuable insights into the formation and evolution of giant planets and their moons. Ganymede has been visited by spacecraft before, most notably by NASA's Voyager and Galileo missions. These flybys provided valuable data and stunning images, revealing much about Ganymede's surface and hinting at its hidden ocean. However, to truly unlock Ganymede's secrets, we need a dedicated mission. That's where ESA's JUICE mission comes in. Short for Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, JUICE is set to launch in the coming years and will spend several years orbiting Ganymede, studying its ocean magnetic field and potential habitability in unprecedented detail. While Ganymede might seem like a completely alien world, there are some intriguing parallels to our own planet. Both Earth and Ganymede have iron cores, rocky mantles and surfaces shaped by geological processes. The key difference, of course, is that Ganymede's ocean is hidden beneath an icy shell, while Earth's water is on full display. However, studying Ganymede's ocean could provide valuable insights into the conditions necessary for life to arise and the potential for life in other icy worlds. As we venture further into the cosmos, places like Ganymede remind us of the vastness of the unknown. This moon, the largest in our solar system, orbits Jupiter and is a world of ice and mystery. Its surface is a complex tapestry of ridges and grooves, hinting at geological processes that we are only beginning to understand. Could this icy moon with its hidden ocean harbour life as we know it or even life as we don't yet understand it? The subsurface ocean, kept warm by tidal forces, could be a cradle for microbial life, similar to the extremophiles found in Earth's deep oceans. Scientists are eager to explore this possibility, as it could redefine our understanding of where life can exist. The possibility, however remote, is a powerful motivator for scientific exploration. Missions to Ganymede, both planned and conceptual, aim to uncover its secrets. From robotic probes to potential manned missions, the quest to understand Ganymede is a testament to human curiosity and ingenuity. Each discovery brings us closer to answering fundamental questions about our place in the universe. Ganymede is more than just a moon. It's a symbol of the mysteries that still beckon us, a reminder that there is so much more to learn. Its landscape, marked by craters and ice, tells a story of a dynamic past. The more we study it, the more we realize how little we know. A testament to the boundless capacity of the universe to surprise and inspire us. The universe is vast, and every new discovery on Ganymede opens up a universe of possibilities. It challenges our assumptions and pushes the boundaries of our knowledge. The next chapter in Ganymede's story is about to be written, and it's one we can't wait to read. As we prepare for future missions, the excitement builds. What will we find beneath its icy crust? What new wonders await us in the depths of its ocean? The journey to uncover Ganymede's secrets is just beginning, and the possibilities are truly endless.